have always loved to travel and explore cultures. But if you, for me, traveling is one of my favorite things to do. I love to go to a foreign place and explore the culture there. Traveling is different from vacationing for me. I see it as a cultural experience and I reflect on what I learned. Well, vacationing for me is used for peer relaxation and spending the time bonding with my family. Traveling has taught me so many things, including how beautiful the natural world is. My trips to Yellowstone, Montana, and the Grand Canyon are all prime examples of this. Tra While traveling, I've also learned to start appreciating other cultures. Whenever I went to London, it was a huge culture shock for me, as instead of traveling by car, we traveled by walking around the subway. In my travels, I've also learned the history of the places that I've been. Whenever I went to Washington, D.C., I learned all about the U.S. history. And while I was in London, I learned many things about the Egyptian life. After traveling and being to so many places, I've learned to start appreciating architecture. It's one of my favorite hobbies now, and it's all because of how many times I've been to places that are so old that they have so many different types of architecture there. Whenever you're traveling, it's important to know the native language of the country that you're going to. Whenever I went to Spain, I had to learn the basics of Spanish, and I had to use them to ask for directions or even order food. According to all of my personal experience and travel and fitness expert, Lisa Mercer, traveling and exploring cultures has so many benefits, including building perspective. Perspective in traveling terms means to go somewhere and come back with a different view in life. I experienced this when I went to Colorado as a young kid and I learned that there could actually be snow in the world. Providing insight in your life is the best benefit of traveling and exploring cultures. My mentor, Ms. Danner, says that you can go look on pictures on the internet or in books, but you'll never know what it's actually like to see it in real life. This happened to me whenever I was at Alhambra, a famous palace in Spain. I got to see the hand-carved and painted tiles, and it was just breathtaking. Seeing themes in your life and travel lingo means to match up your lessons in school to your travels. This is a benefit because you really get to experience what your teacher was actually talking about. I went to DC the, in the fourth grade, the same year that we learned all about the US government. But with those benefits, you're gonna have some hurdles, including jet lag. Jet lag is when your body is on the same time zone of where you live instead of where you are. Whenever I went to London, this was a major problem for me, as I would be going to bed or waking up the same time that I would be eating breakfast or going to bed in Texas. But the solution is actually quite simple. The National Sleep Foundation suggests going outside, as daylight is a natural biological clock regulator. The next major excuse or hurdle is finances. Traveling can be pretty pricey, and this allows for people to make a major excuse. And if you're going somewhere in the continental US, it's always okay to drive, but if you wanna go somewhere bigger than that, it's gonna be a problem. Whenever I want to go on a big trip, I always decide that I want to research about it. Researching about it gets me hyped for my trip, and I know what I'm gonna do if I get to get there. And that way, it can inspire you to save up. Another problem or excuse that people use to not travel is your safety. People can say, oh, their economy is down, or they don't really have the safest streets, but this can be because of what you're wearing. Wearing your Texas Ranger sweatshirt may not be beneficial to you, as this can get you targeted for you could get robbed or even worse. You always just want to blend in whenever you're traveling. Now you may be asking me, how do I even get started with this? But you'd always just want to go small. Go to a city that already has a lot of cultures, such as San Francisco, New York City, or even San Antonio, and you just want to enjoy the adventure. I've been on plenty of trips where things haven't gone exactly as planned, but that just prepares me for the next trip. With all of my personal experience with traveling, I'm still gonna have some fears about it. I've always had a fear of losing my luggage, or I get hurt, whether it being I get mugged or in a plane crash. But with those fears, I have desires. I've always had a fear, I've always had a desire to go to New Zealand and watch a field hockey game, or go to Paris, Iceland, or even go on a road trip with my friends. 
But the fears that I just listed are overcome by the amount of happiness that traveling and exploring cultures brings me. I hope that in the future, your fears about traveling and exploring cultures are overcome by the amount of happiness that it brings you. Thank you. These, present these presentations represent the culmination of a semester of hard work. We spent the first nine weeks exploring our topics through a variety of writing assignments, including a research paper and a persuasive essay. We learned about ethos, pathos, and logos, and how to use specific persuasive techniques in our writing and in our presentations. After spring break, we shifted our focus to creating our presence and practicing our presentations. Thank you for coming today to see our final presentations and for supporting us during the semester.